Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you would like to see how I created this look, you can continue to watch. Hope you guys enjoy. You want to start off with the black polish. Mine is pretty sheer, so I went ahead and did three coats. You'll see as I go on with the video, I did three coats, but it's really up to you if you prefer more of a sheer look or you want that solid black look. Either way, totally up to you. Your girl needs a manicure, so please excuse my old manicure and crusty cuticles just just bear with me i mean you know life Here I went in with the second coat, as you can see it's getting darker. Now once I did the third coat, then I knew that would be the final coat because that is the black that I was looking for. I wanted a nice, solid, strong black. When creating the eye, I wanted something bright. So I chose a bright yellow, but I wanted to tone it down a bit. So I picked an army green and blended the two together. So mix, mix, mix. I kept mixing until, yep, mix, mix, mix. <laughs> I kept mixing until I got my desired color. Those are the two colors that I mixed together. When I began to draw the eye, I chose a specific brush thinking that was the brush but it wasn't so you'll see that I tried to draw the eye but this brush was just not doing what I needed it to do it was just coming out really bulky and it was just too thick so after a while it just got to me and then I ended up wiping it which you'll see in a minute and grabbed another brush and just did it again I just I left this in just to show you guys that nothing comes out perfect all the time you know um, yeah, I had some lint, so wipe, wipe, you know, wipe again, wipe, oh, then I began drawing the eye, and this brush was so much better, it just, I had more control with it. Since this yellow is sheer as well, I went ahead and did a second coat and then a third coat because I just felt like it was necessary to bring that beautiful eye to life. some black to draw inside of the yellow so I did like a thin almond shape to create a kind of evil effect then of course I do a second and third coat so that way the black portion can really pop out I wanted this set to have two eyes so I went ahead and grabbed the first nail and just put it side by side to the other one so I can kind of get them on the same page. I wanted them to be as even as possible rather than having them look cross-eyed or one on top, one on bottom. So I followed the same steps, the um, three coats of yellow, the three coats of black. I 
went ahead and took a top coat. So it has to be a no white top coat. Um, I put it all over the whole nail and then I went ahead and cured the nail. This is where you have to be careful. So you put the top coat, but since I didn't want the eye to have texture, I just put the top coat in the area in which I wanted texture. So I did it around the eye. And then once I was done with the top coat, I would not cure it. You leave it uncured. Now this is the best part, the fun part. So you take some soap and water, you mix it up until it gets bubbly, and then quickly you grab the bubbles and you place it over the nail. Any part that is wet with the top coat is going to take the bubbles. So then right after that, you stick it in the lamp and cure it immediately. Now I do the same process for the plain nail. Do the top coat, cure it, do another top coat, don't cure it, and then put the bubbles and cure it immediately. Once it's cured, you wipe it up. I really should have dabbed. I shouldn't have wiped like that, especially because I was using a paper towel, but you dab it and look at how beautiful. Look at that texture. Take it out, dab, 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 and bam. Look at how beautiful that texture is. That's just from the bubbles. How beautiful. And this is the final product. Look, ooh, do you guys see that? Like, wow, amazing what such a simple item can do. And this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned from this. Um, if you like, you can like the video, subscribe and comment below. I will be sharing more videos. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.